Duchess Sophie schools Meghan on how to dress royally during Tanzania tour. In the world of royalty, fashion is not just about looking good. It's a statement of one's status, culture, and respect for the occasion. As Meghan Markle continues to navigate her role within the royal family, she finds herself under the watchful eyes of the public and the media. Recently, during a tour of Tanzania, Duchess Sophie stepped in to provide some valuable fashion advice, leaving many to wonder, what does it really mean to dress royally? The nuances of royal attire reveal a deeper understanding of etiquette, tradition, and personal identity that are often overshadowed by the glitz and glamour. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Royal fashion is steeped in tradition, and understanding its intricacies can be daunting for anyone entering the royal spotlight. From the choice of fabric to the color palette, every detail matters. The royal family adheres to a subtle yet powerful dress code that reflects their position and the significance of the events they attend. Duchess Sophie, known for her elegant yet approachable style, has often been praised for her ability to blend contemporary fashion with royal tradition. Her wardrobe choices resonate with the public while still maintaining the dignity expected of a royal. During the Tanzania tour, Sophie's outfits were not only stylish but also culturally sensitive, which served as a masterclass in dressing appropriately for international engagements. Tanzania, with its vibrant culture and rich heritage, presents a unique backdrop for any royal visit. The attire chosen for such occasions should reflect an understanding and respect for local customs. Megan, who has often been scrutinized for her fashion choices, faced the challenge of dressing in a way that honored Tanzanian culture while still fitting into the royal mold. During the tour, Duchess Sophie showcased a series of outfits that celebrated local aesthetics. From flowing maxi dresses adorned with African prints to tailored suits that paid homage to traditional styles, her wardrobe choices were a testament to her understanding of the importance of cultural sensitivity in fashion. Sophie's approach stood in stark contrast to some of Meghan's earlier choices, which were perceived as too casual or out of sync with royal expectations. Duchess Sophie's style philosophy is rooted in a few key principles, elegance, respect, and versatility. She often opts for pieces that are timeless yet modern, striking a delicate balance between tradition and contemporary fashion. Her ability to navigate this balance has made her a style icon within royal circles. For the Tanzania tour, Sophie emphasized the importance of selecting outfits that not only look good, but also make a statement. Her ensembles often included elements that resonated with the local culture, such as fabrics and colors that reflected the Tanzanian landscape. By incorporating local influences into her attire, Sophie demonstrated a profound respect for her hosts, something that is crucial in royal protocol. Meghan Markle's journey in the royal fashion landscape has been a complex one. Known for her chic, modern style, Meghan initially brought a fresh perspective to royal dressing. However, her transition from Hollywood actress to duchess has not been without its challenges. The scrutiny surrounding her fashion choices has been intense with critics often quick to judge her outfits as either too casual or inappropriate for royal engagements. During the Tanzania tour, Meghan's wardrobe choices were closely analyzed, and her outfits were compared to those of Duchess Sophie. While Meghan attempted to embrace the local culture, some of her choices fell short in terms of cultural sensitivity and royal expectations. This has led to discussions about the importance of mentorship and guidance in navigating royal fashion norms. Duchess Sophie's influence on Meghan during the Tanzania tour highlights the importance of mentorship within the royal family. As a more seasoned royal, Sophie possesses valuable insights into the expectations of royal attire. Her willingness to share this knowledge reflects a supportive dynamic that can help newer members of the royal family flourish. Mentorship in the royal context is not just about fashion. It's about understanding the nuances of public life, engagement with various cultures, and the responsibilities that come with being a member of the royal family. Sophie's guidance could prove invaluable for Meghan as she continues to carve out her identity within the royal framework. In today's digital age, fashion choices are under constant scrutiny. Social media platforms amplify public opinions, making it challenging for royals to navigate their style choices without facing backlash. Meghan, in particular, has experienced this firsthand, 
as her outfits are often dissected and criticized by fashion commentators and the public alike. During the Tanzania tour, the contrast between Sophie's and Meghan's outfits was widely discussed on social media. Many praised Sophie for her elegance and cultural sensitivity, while Meghan's choices were met with mixed reactions. This underscores the impact of social media on royal fashion, where every outfit can quickly become a trending topic. One of the most significant takeaways from the Tanzania tour is the importance of cultural sensitivity in royal dressing. Royals are not just representatives of their countries. They are ambassadors of culture and tradition. Dressing appropriately for international engagements is a way of showing respect and appreciation for the host country's heritage. Duchess Sophie's outfits were a masterclass in cultural sensitivity, reflecting an understanding of Tanzanian fashion while still adhering to royal protocols. In contrast, Meghan's attempts to embrace local styles sometimes fell flat, highlighting the learning curve that comes with being a royal. Fashion is an expression of personal identity, and for royals, it also reflects their responsibilities. Duchess Sophie's style is a reflection of her personality, graceful, poised, and committed to her role. Meghan, on the other hand, is in the process of defining her royal identity, balancing her modern sensibilities with the expectations of royal life. The challenge for Meghan lies in finding that balance while still honoring her personal style. As she continues to learn from experienced royals like Sophie, there is potential for her to evolve her wardrobe into something that resonates with both her identity and royal expectations.